In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page using WordPress. So landing pages are very, very important because these are pages which you can use to promote your products, your affiliate products, or even to grow your mailing list. So this is mainly popular with uh, internet marketers and uh, entrepreneurs and small business owners. But you can also design this now on your own website. And this is what I'm going to show you today. Now, if you're brand new to web design and you'd like to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I have a free course. The link to that is in the description below. You can go ahead and sign up for this course. As I mentioned, it's 100% free. Hi, my name is Mac from MacUniversity.com. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing because I produce a lot of content on how to create websites and how to market your websites online. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so let's start by creating our brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. So we're going to start off by giving our page a name. So let's call this, right, so that's the title of our page. So next, we can start now by creating our blocks, which are going to have the content that we need. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and the first block is going to be a heading. So we're going to say financial freedom, right? It's always good to have a title here that, that lets your visitors to your page know what exactly it is they're looking at. So after this title, the next thing we want to have is the description and also the image. So I'm going to add two columns. So I'm going to select columns here. So on this left side, I am going to add an image. And then on the right here, I am going to add some text. Right. So that's the text I need to add over here. And it's also a heading text. Now, if I need to change this heading because this is way too big i can just change it here to header three or heading four depending on what looks better okay now over here on the uh, on the left what i can do now is i can start adding my image so i'm going to click here on this plus button search for my image and then if you have your image in the media library this is where you come but uh, if you've downloaded your image and it's somewhere on your computer this is where you want to come so i have my image here in the media library so i'm going to select that go to my media library and this is the image that I'm going to use. So I'm going to select that. And now we see that we have our image, we have our text here and that looks really good. Right. So the purpose of this landing page is to either generate leads or to direct people to a specific page. It could be maybe your affiliate uh, product that you want to promote or you want to promote someone else's website. So in this example here, I'm going to add an opt-in to collect my leads. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. Uh, I'm just going to add some text. All right. So that looks uh, good. I'm just going to save the draft for now. And then next, I'm going to come over here, click this plus button. And this time I'm going to add a HTML block. I'm going to select that. So now I'm going to go to ConvertKit because this is the email autoresponder service that I use to collect my leads. So I'm going to start by going here to my forms. So I'm just going to use one of the forms that I have here. I'm not going to build one from scratch. So let me just go with this one here, interested in buying TV. Right. So all I have to do now is to click on embed. And now I have several options to copy my form. So I'm going to click here on HTML. And then all I have to do is to copy this code, come over here. We're just going to add our code like that. Now, uh, over here on the top, I'm not pretty happy with uh, the text here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click here and delete this block. So I'd rather have my text go across like that. So I'm going to come right here to the bottom, click this plus button, and I'm just going to add a paragraph of text. Okay. So in that paragraph, I'm just going to say, enter your email below to receive the secret. Right. So let's take a look and see what this page looks like. So I'm going to click here on publish to publish the page, and then I'm going to view the page. Right. So we can see here, this is a uh, pretty basic. We have our title, we have uh, the message right here, and then we have our opt-in form. But as you can see, this page is really, really confusing because it has all the stuff on the bottom here. And it also has this header area. So ideally we want our page to be as plain and as simple as possible because this is just acting as a landing page. So we don't need any of this extra stuff, even this page title. So what we're going to do now is to go back into the dashboard and install a theme, which in my opinion is the best theme to use with WordPress. So this theme is free and you can download it by coming over here to appearance, click on themes, and then you just need to search for Astra. 
So over here, you click on add new and then search themes. Just need to search for Astra and it's the first one that comes up here. So I have mine installed. So all I have to do is to click on activate. And then now my theme is activated. On each specific page, I now have these options over here to the right, which we didn't have initially with the WordPress 5 theme. So I can disable the header. I can disable the title. I can disable the featured image. In fact, we don't, we don't have a featured image here, so that's fine. And we can also disable the footer, you know, the footer that had all that text on the bottom. That's what we need to get rid of. So we want our page to be as plain as possible. Now, this page comes with a sidebar. So you can come over here as well and say no sidebar. And then on the content layout, you can also specify how you want this layout to be. So I'm just going to come over here and click on full width contained. In fact, you can even choose boxed if you want, if you prefer that. Now let's click on update and let's take a look at this page now, now that we've done these changes. Right, so now we see that our page is now much cleaner. It doesn't have a header and a footer. So maybe you may not be a fan of this blocked uh, structure here, so you can always go back over here. So the next option here we have is full width contained. Click update. And then again, we're gonna do a quick preview. And now we have our page looking this way. So now with this, we can always now go back in and customize this further to make this look the way we want. So let's go back in and do that. So over here, I'm going to start here with this text so I can highlight this, make it bigger. I can even add more blocks. So if I click here on this plus button, add a paragraph. So let's say I want to add, you know, a few information in here. In fact, let me just use this here on the side. It's easier that way. So I prefer using lorem uh, ipsum because this saves me from typing, especially when I'm working on websites like these. Okay, so I've just added my bullet points there. So these are maybe the three points you may want to uh, specify in here. So that's great. And then over here, this is within this block. So I am going to pretty much delete this because I don't need it in here. Or I can even drag it. Okay. So now that I've dragged it out of uh, that area, I can just highlight this and center it because the form here is also centered. So with that selected now, I can come over here to the font size, make it large. And then over here as well, this financial freedom formula, ideally we want this centered. So again, I'm going to select this and then I'm going to center it and I'm going to also make it bold. In fact, I can just choose a heading. So we, we, uh, this is not our main message. So this is just the initial title which is fine. Now let's click on update and take a look at this. Right. So I'm going to refresh this. Right. So now we can see that um, we have our title there. We also have our description. Now this is very important because this is what's going to capture uh, anyone that comes on this page. Discover the secrets that made me 2,799 in less than a month without an email list or social media followers. Then you have your bullet points here. Now, this can be anything. This landing page can be a landing page of anything. So you can also say, discover how I trained my dog to sit uh, in less than one week. Okay, so that's something that you'll be sharing with uh, anyone that visits this page. And then over here, this is where they enter their name and email, and then they'll be added to the mailing list. Now, if this is promoting another product, you could also add a button. And let me show you quickly how you can do that. So instead of having a form, you can actually come in here and let's get rid of this. Right, so let's remove the block. In fact, I may need to just delete this. Right, I'm going to remove that. Then click this. Search for my button. I'm going to select that. Right, so I want my button here. Just, um, just above here. So the URL, this is the URL which takes you to wherever it is that you want your button to go. But for now, I'm just going to add a blank link. And then over here, you can also add the text here that needs to go in the button. So you can say, download the videos. And then over here, you can also play around with the colors. So the background color here, you can just change it. You know, so you can, you have a few colors to play, uh, to play around with. And also the color here. In fact, I, I'm pretty much happy with how this looks. So that could be my landing page. And then on the top here, we could also add something, you know, really basic, but also that looks good. So I'm going to click this plus button here and add a separator. Okay, so 
with that selected, we have different styles here. So I want it short. I'll click update and then I'm going to drag it into position. So I want it right here below this financial freedom formula. Okay. Click update. So now if I refresh my page, we have a basic page, which has a simple message. And this now takes you to wherever it is that you want to direct your visitors to. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification and also a thumbs up before you move on to the next video. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.